Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you Transfer Rumours Episode 5. Some of these deals are kind of new clubs. I say deals. Players are linked to new clubs and you'll find that quite a bit throughout this series because obviously there's not an infinite amount of players. There are some new ones as well though. So first one I've got here is Mbolo. Um, he is linked to Manchester United. I think it's a Swedish paper who've linked him. Or I could be completely wrong. He plays for Basel. He's 18 years old, six foot one, strong, good finisher, and a number of clubs have been scouting him. He's one of these young talents that, particularly on Football Manager, becomes world class. But he has the potential to develop, and uh, this would be an interesting signing because if we did actually go out and get him, we'd have a lot of players like Martial, Rashford, Mbolo if he joined. That would be young and full of potential. He can play on the wing as well, uh, right wing, as well as a striker. Uh, he could probably play on the left as well. So he would be interchangeable. And if we did sign him, I reckon he'd be back up for them, especially for other cup competitions and stuff. But early rumours, and I know there was rumours in November because we'd sent a scout off to watch Basel versus Florentina, I think. And uh, there was fake reports that we were interested in Varello or something. But it was more likely Mbolo. So we'll see what happens with that one. The next one I've got is a player that I mentioned last episode who was linked to Arsenal. And that was Mkhitaryan. He's now linked to Manchester United. Um, uh, it makes perfect sense. We won a right wing. The guy scored something like 18 goals assisted 24 last season for Borussia Dortmund. There's not too many that had better seasons on the right wing. And uh, that are attainable. As I said in last episode, I thought he would be a fantastic signing if he did go to Arsenal. My exact same thoughts for Manchester United. I think he would fit our style of play perfectly. He's a brilliant passer. He's got a bit of pace about him. He's a skillful dribbler. And I think it would just be a perfect buy for either us or Arsenal. Considering he's only got one week left on it, one week, one year left on his contract, I reckon he will leave. Whether it's to us, Arsenal, or a different club remains to be seen. The next player we've got is a confirmed extension, and that is Michael Carrick. Literally about 10 minutes ago from me recording this video, he has signed a deal with Manchester United to extend his contract for a further year. Jose Mourinho said his, uh, his experience is exactly what he needs and uh, it's invaluable to him and he can't wait to work with him. Carrick said much the same with Mourinho and obviously he wants to win titles. And um, a lot of Man United fans aren't too happy with this. Personally, I am. You, you honestly underestimate the influence a player like Carrick, Rooney, has on the dressing room, like before matches, after matches. And to be fair, his performances, although they weren't as good last season, sorry, they were much better last season, they were still fairly decent this season. Sometimes he did pass, you know, backwards and sideways a bit too much. But I think that's part of Louis van Gaal's philosophy, to be fair. So I'll cut him some slack, uh, some slack for that. I don't think he's going to play every single game. But he's an important player in regards to the squad. I think if we got rid of him, it would be a mistake. We got rid of a lot of experienced players when Moyes joined, uh, when van Gaal joined. We got rid of the likes of Ferdinand, Vidic... Evra, etc. So I think we need experience and we need to keep our experience heads at least for another season. And I'm happy with this deal. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Next player we've got is Pereira, uh, the Argentinian Cam who plays for Juventus. He's linked to a 10 million euro move to Watford. Now this is going to tie in with a deal that I'll talk about directly after this, but it would make sense and I think this would be a fantastic signing. He hasn't played too much for Juventus, but last season he had some brilliant performances in Syria, so it, it makes sense. And this is a signing that you could imagine Watford have. Of course, they have Lyon uh, to come back from loan, who uh, got a team of the season on FIFA, so I presume he did something for Porto, I think it was, and uh, he's coming back. So Watford are a club who look as though they're actually you know, building a commendable team, and they could be a force uh, there could be a surprise package next season but we'll see but that is definitely one that looks highly likely and i think it would be a good signing for them and the next player as i say is linked into this Pereira move and Pjanic who i talked about a couple of episodes ago was linked to manchester united was linked to barcelona but it seems as though he's going to go to juventus uh, it's reported by Damasio as well as others that the release clause has been met he's going to go to Juventus and uh, this opens the door for a Juventus midfielder to leave and this will lead on to 
someone I'm going to talk about straight after this, but it's a fantastic signing for Juventus. Uh, another amazing midfielder to go into their ranks. It, it's unbelievable how many amazing players they have at that squad. Most of them they've got for free, in fairness, but this one, I think, is a €35 million Euro release close, which is roughly about 26 27 million so it's a fantastic signing they haven't confirmed it yet but it looks very very likely and i'd be surprised at this stage if it didn't happen the next player as i say linked is pogba now i talked about him being linked to man united yesterday he's linked to real madrid and apparently we are the two clubs that are really like putting serious interest into Pogba and now Pjanic is almost signed for Juventus it opens the door for Pogba to leave of course he might not but at this stage it looks likely Juventus wants something like 70 80 million both of our teams Real Madrid and Manchester United can give him that it's just whether whether we can lure him with this project that Jose Mourinho wants to build or whether he wants to go into a ready-made team full of world-class stars I mean when you put it like that, kind of an obvious choice for most players. But considering he was in the Manchester United Academy, you never know. You never know. It might just be Ferguson that he disliked and he might have some sort of a liking for Manchester United. I know I'm being very hopeful here. Likelihood is he'll probably go to Real Madrid. I'm not deluded, but I can hope. I can hope. But we'll see what happens with it. He might not even move. He might stay at Juventus. Who knows? Next player we've got is Teo. Uh, the Barcelona winger who spent a year on loan and he's linked to Liverpool. I don't know too much about Teo, to be fair. Um, he seems to get loaned a lot for Barcelona and they lack depth. So, obviously, you're never going to get in Messi, Neymar and Suarez when they're all fit. So, the best thing to do is either leave or go out on loan, which is what Christian Teo has done. He's done well in his loan appearances for various clubs. So... I think it would be a decent signing. Liverpool are in need of wingers, actual wingers. I mean, Jordan Ibe is nowhere near what Liverpool fans thought he would be when he burst onto the scene. And uh, they don't really have too many other players. I mean, Coutinho plays out wide, Firmino can. But, I mean, proper wingers. So, they, they definitely need one. They were linked to... Um, oh, I covered it in a previous episode... I can't remember who it was, but anyway, they, they're they linked to a n number of wingers. So whether this deal happens, we'll see, but they have interest in him. The next player I've got is an update. It's Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, there is a, a company called Proto uh, Photo Limited, I think. And I think they're an Italian-based company. And they're basically saying that they assisted Zlatan in buying a house in Manchester. It's all done now. They've got various quotes on it. But... They said this about Pogba uh, a month or two ago that he'd uh, went to Barcelona and bought a house, basically. And uh, Pogba came out and denied it. So I reckon they're just trying to get free publicity and uh, they're taking advantage of the situation where most people believe he's going to go to Manchester United. So if he does go to Manchester United, they'll get added credibility because they said they bought him a house unless he denies it. I don't believe it at all. And um, as I say, if the move does go, then a lot of people will believe that they were telling the truth. It's just someone who, like a company who's trying to get better uh, feedback, it just be a better company because they said this and it actually happened. Um, and they're, they're just living off that, I say hype, but you, you know what I mean. They're just trying to get a better name for themselves. And uh, I don't believe it one bit, but maybe some people do. We'll see. Uh, and the next player we've got is Gabriel uh, Jesus. Is that how you say it for a Brazilian player? But he's an 18-year-old starlet in Brazil. He's linked to a number of clubs. He's got a 24 million euro release close. Is 38 million, but for a select number of teams, including Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Manchester United, Juventus, Real Madrid, I think. And there might be a couple of others like Chelsea, Man City, etc., uh, it's 24 million euros. Bayern are heavily linked with this player. They've been scouting him a lot. I don't know a great deal about him other than he is one of these wonder kids that people think could become the next Neymar, for example. Whether that happens, I mean, that's that's <laughs> going to take some doing, but we'll see. He is heavily linked to Bayern Munich now, though, so it looks more likely if he did move. Um, it would be to my Bayern Munich or it would be in a future season. And the last player I've got is Nine Golan, who I believe I have talked about, uh, linked to Chelsea. But he, the players came out himself and said that Conte is trying to persuade him to go 
to Chelsea. He did, when he was at Juventus, try and persuade him, but uh, Nangolan said, I'm, I'm not going to Juventus. And um, it seems as though Nangolan generally is split. He wants to stay in Rome. He loves it. His family love it, the place. And uh, he's tempted by Chelsea, I think. But it's just one of these that you just... I don't think the player knows himself. He, he's been persuaded by Conte... And uh, he wants to focus on the Euros and then after that he'll make a decision. But I generally don't think the player knows himself. I think he wants to stay in Rome but he also wants to try the Premier League. So this one will take a while for it to develop. I don't expect anything to be announced before the Euros end for Belgium um, wherever the hell they finish. So this one will be ongoing but Conte certainly seems as though it's a top priority for him since he's spoken to him. So... It would be a fantastic signing for Chelsea and as I say, I think the player himself is split and hasn't decided. So we'll have to wait and see with uh, that one. But hopefully I've enjoyed. If there's any players you do want me to talk about in future episodes, write them down in the description, in the description, in the comments section. I'll obviously read them and uh, respond to you and hopefully talk about them in the future episodes. But hopefully I've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.